Right. Let's see other ones. So this is on. The, uh, I am at this slide twenty two. Let's go. Many uh, virtual box manager. Let's start the victim machine. I'm at the page 20, uh, slide 22. And when you start victim VM, victim VM and sys internals. And do you see the uh, other ones? This one? So all of ones that the GUI program and all of one C is a command line pro command line. So victims and you can start the all of ones here. And do you see the output? All right. So the reason I didn't even mention services or anything on the previous slide. These are the all locations that can be used by malware to persist. Right? There are a lot of them, right? When you scroll down. And when you see the uh, options, filter options, the one that you are actually looking at right now is uh, the entries, registry key, or in you know, a file location uh, is all uh, that is actually being used to persist currently. But when you on the options, filter options, and when you select include empty locations and select yes, and do you see much more entries? See how many entries are, right? All of these can be used to you know for malware to persist. Okay? And then the goal of this class is memorize all of these. And that's I was kidding. <laughs> so you don't need to memorize it because we have to. I want to emphasize, you know, there's a lot of uh, place to uh, to pers a lot of places that can be used to persist, right? And when you see other tabs, then it is you know the tab I was selected was everything, but when you click like the other tab, you are seeing more you know, grouped as a uh, locations. Right here, there's a lot, and now I'll go back everything and options, filter option, and I want to deselect. Okay, and now it has a much less, but there's some some location that actually being used currently. All right, and another thing, let's go to run the. Uh, do you see the very first line? There is a Windows current version run. Right? And when you double click, then reg, uh, reg edit is being opened. So actually, you can see what's in it in detail. You see? Okay, I just double click here. Right? Then you like, jump to this uh, registry key. Can you see that? All right. So that's uh, so, so I just done with the. Uh, Slide 23. What's the meaning of the title? Sure. Right. So uh, for, if I recall everything, actually I think help had it. Red one was the one that you can identify the, uh, no, it actually said the entries. Hold on a second. The yellow one is file is not found. Red one, I think it was, uh, you cannot verify the signature. I believe. Well, let me check. Highlight right. Okay. Yeah. I can't spell this one, but when you sit here, I just cannot think. <laughs> All right. Here it says. I hope this one says something. Right. Yeah. If you select verify options, 
the highlight in light red. Basically, since I'm sure the option, whether it's this one or entry properties, no. Entry properties. So that's probably there is some option that you can select. Anyway, I'll just skip it. But it's just saying that red one is uh, the signature cannot be verified. Red one, when there's an entry, but you cannot find the file itself, then it has as a red, or no, yellow. File not found right here. Right, it has some uh, registry entry, but the, uh, associated with the file cannot be found in the file system, right? Those, that's what it meant. And, all right, any questions so far? And all around is a really good tool to use, let me call it. Yeah. A lot of these system internal tools, do they still work if you have uh, the pro user privileges on Windows 8.1, uh, do they still? Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, was it, Works for certain case, but some sometimes it doesn't. No, no. Let's say it will run, but it will not show you everything. For example, uh, if you have running some process in the you know higher privilege, but you are running the process monitor uh, explorer with a low privilege one, then you don't see any information there. Right? I I think you're gonna still run, but yeah, with the limited data. 